Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to create a cool glitchy warp effect in After Effects, let's begin. First let's create a new adjustment layer and then apply the first effect called Glitchify. If you're searching for the Glitchify effect in your effects and presets panel and can't find it, that's because it's a paid plugin. If you don't have it, just DM me the word Glitchify on Instagram and wait for my reply. I promise, you'll be surprised by what I send you. Under the Glitchify effect, expand color glitch and toggle it off, then expand the image glitch and toggle it off as well. Now expand channel glitch glitch, then channel split and channel scale. Now under the channel scale, make sure to check the vertical option, then set both offset and speed multiplier to 0. Set the scale to 70 and then under a channel split set the horizontal amount to 0. Now expand the advanced section, then open the channel scale settings within it and check fill gaps option. Make sure you are at the beginning of the adjustment layer and then set the glitchify amount to 0 and click the stopwatch icon next to it to add a keyframe. Now scroll forward something like this and then change glitchify amount to 50. Then let's scroll to the very end of the layer and set the glitchify amount to zero. Now press U on your keyboard to reveal all created keyframes and then scroll to the very beginning. Let's apply find edges effect now. Make sure to check the invert option, then set blend with original to 100% and click the stopwatch icon to add a keyframe. Now scroll to the middle, where you set the second glitchify amount keyframe, and at that point, change blend with original to 0%. Now scroll to the end and change it back to 100%. Let's scroll back to the beginning and apply the turbulent displace effect. Set the size to 30. Then set the amount to 0 and click the stopwatch icon to add a new keyframe. Let's scroll to the second keyframes and change the amount to 155. Then scroll to the end of the layer and set the amount back to 0. Let's apply a glow now, I will use a deep glow plugin. Scroll to the beginning of the adjustment layer, set the exposure to 0, and click the stopwatch icon to add a keyframe. Now scroll to the second keyframes again and then slightly bump up the exposure, I think 0.10 will be enough. Finally go to the end of the layer and set the exposure back to 0. Now let's quickly check what we've created, and then we'll move on to adjusting the overall look of the effect. First let's adjust the curve in the graph editor. Start by pressing U on your keyboard to reveal all the keyframes. Then select all the keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Now open the graph editor, right click inside it, choose edit speed graph, and create a smooth curve. Let's check it again. The animation now looks much smoother and more polished. Now I'm going to make the effect appear only in the background. Start by duplicating the original clip and moving the duplicate above the adjustment layer. Then scroll to the very beginning of the duplicated layer, select the Roto Brush tool, and double click the clip. Carefully rotoscope the car, making sure to keep the edges clean and smooth. Once you're happy with the selection, click the freeze button to lock in the roto. After it finishes freezing, close the rotoscoping window to return to your main composition and we can check the effect one more time. Looks good, but if you'd rather have the effect only in the background instead of affecting the entire clip, here's another thing you can do. Select the adjustment layer, then grab the rectangle tool and draw a mask around the area where you want the effect to appear. I'll also make a few slight adjustments to the mask to better match my preference and then press F on a keyboard and bump up mask feather to about 150. Let's correct the mask a little bit more and then take one final look at the effect to see how everything comes together. Everything looks just right now, I'm really happy with the final result. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.